Hey everybody, TBC here. Just a short video today to bring you some news. Got the next leveling video coming very, very soon. But this is breaking news that I had to bring to you. As I promised I would in my last video. Now, in my last video, I kind of hinted that there might be some Kunark quality of life improvements along the way. And yesterday, in the patch notes, there it is. And we get to see that, yes, in fact, there are some Kunark quality of life improvements to the keying process. Now, as you know, the keying process for zones like Vichon's Peak and Kunark is one of the most toxic, one of the longest, and one of the most frustrating experiences for most players um, that come around and play on these TLPs. And I'm positive in the past it has drove players away. You know, it's not fun, it's not engaging content, staring at the ground for 20 hours, waiting in a line of people to get a key piece in Trachanon's Tea for Pain Soul or Rotten Scale or, or, or things like that. So I'm absolutely certain it's driven people away and people come back to these servers for, for this nostalgia experience. A lot of people did not see Vision's Peak back in the day and I'm not saying it's a great raid zone because it isn't. But a lot of people can hold it above that it's a zone that they really want to see when they're playing on these TLPs because they didn't get the chance to back in 2000. So, what have they actually changed? Well, let's have a quick look. So, the first one is a bit, bit of an unusual one for me. They say they made the Severus key easier. But it was already ridiculously easy. Uh, um, they changed it maybe two TLPs ago and they massively increased those foragers and those hunters. Actually they increased them so much it's made travel through tracking on teeth very annoying because these mobs are everywhere, they all have so and they social like crazy. So you'd be running through even at max level level 60 all of a sudden you got five of these frogs on you because they they cranked up the uh, the spawn rate to about a thousand percent for the first couple of weeks of Kunark. It's uh, it's a bit of an interesting one. So I don't know why they've gone and looked at that and said no, that's not enough. We need more. Um, I don't know. Can't explain that one. But with Vision's Peak, what they've said is they've basically increased the who can drop the key pieces. So what I did, I had a quick hop on to test and I got a monk from a, a past TLP. It's uh, still in its finest classic gear. It's actually uh, a really, it's actually a really well geared monk for classic. I've got all my sky quest pieces. I've got this, um, yeah, the spirit wreck cord. So I must have cut test copy this over maybe a week or two into Kunark after I got the cords. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna mess around in front of E and see what we can do to get a key. Now, what I did at first, I tried killing some of the Drachnids and seeing if they could drop it. I didn't think they would, but you never know. And I wasn't lucky with any of those, maybe after killing five or six of them. So, I turned my attention to the Droll Vags. I started killing the Droll Vags. And, look, the very first one, and the very first Droll Vag I killed, I got the AJPs. What a change. That is, that is huge. That's taken a two, three, four our camp and squished it down into two minutes that is crazy that is ridiculous um don't know if i was just lucky maybe i was uh, but i do expect for that keep each you need to kill draw bags and we'll see them like candy and it ain't gonna be a problem um i did have a quick look in dreadlands for like the rotten scale piece i tried killing a couple of its placeholders no luck there um i suspect again you're gonna have to kill draw bags um, but I don't know. I tried killing a few, didn't see it. I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe you have to kill the cockatrice. I don't know. Maybe we just have to learn uh, what that is. But I I'm sure we will over the, the coming days before Kunark launches on Oakwind. Um, again, we can ask Castle. I suspected with the uh, VKR who spawns in the basement that you would have to kill. Maybe the undead. I tried killing a bunch of those, but no luck there. Maybe I just got really lucky with that on a piece I don't know but it's a really good change overall so I then took myself over to the ground spawn pieces as you know there's two there's Kezara and uh, which spawns in the library and Swamp of No Hope uh, Kezara never used to be so much of an issue to be honest that, that zone had a really low pick threshold and often you'd go and there'd be no one there um, no big deal so what I 
I did, I went over to the Swamp of No Hope. Uh, of course it was up because no one's doing this on test. Um, so I looted it and I decided to wait around and see how long it takes for this thing to spawn. Waited five minutes, came back to the computer, nothing. So, uh, waited ten minutes, nothing. Fifteen, nope. Around 20 minutes I came back and ran around the spawns and it was up. So it would seem that the spawn time has gone from basically being an hour plus minus a few minutes to 20 minutes potentially plus or minus again a few minutes. That's massive. I It's still going to be like, a you know, not the best camp ever. There's still going to be lots of people there for the first little while. But getting through the server population at a rate of three key pieces an hour as opposed to one is a, you know, a big increase and I'm sure after a couple of weeks that piece won't be as much of a problem as it has been on TLPs, all the TLPs in the past. I do think they've missed one zone though and I think it's now become the hardest zone to get keyed in in Kunark on a TLP and that is Howling Stones. Howling Stones doesn't it does have an AOC but again you still need the key and to get it you need a jade truck die pod it was made easier a couple of TLPs ago it used to drop from one mob in the car in like the Sanak fort everyone would sit on it and whoever did the most damage won it now any pretty much any Sanak in the fort can drop it uh, in that little loop area so you know f fine for the prod no big deal there the Zalgosian Fang though I think is a bit of a myth for them because even on past TLPs, every time I went down to that zone, there was always people there. Like, waiting for Zalgos to spawn, because he doesn't spawn every time. And normally you'd join a group, you'd be in a line, he sometimes drops two key pieces per kill, doesn't always spawn. But usually an hour or two and you'd get your piece, and the group would just cycle through. With FTE, I don't see that working on this server, someone's just going to come down and spam the button to get the lock on him. Um, so I, I think it's going to be uh, probably one of the harder key pieces to get now in Kunark on a TLP and I'm surprised they didn't look at it. Um, Howling Stones is an underused zone. Um, not many people actually bothered doing the key quest um, but it's a really fun zone and I love coming to Howling Stones and like you need quest pieces from there if you're following some of the Kunark quests. Um, like from Drusilla, the mirror self loathing and yeah, you know, there's there's reasons to go to Howling Stones. Uh, there's reasons why people will want to do the the key. Um, I'm just surprised they didn't look at Zalgosian Fang. I think and just cranked it up a little bit, like make it so he spawns 50% of the time as opposed to what he does now. I'm, I'm I, I am a bit surprised, and who knows, maybe they will in the future. Um, but it does seem a little bit of a miss on their part. And that's why Highland Stones will probably be the hardest zone to get keyed for now in Kunark. So that's our video for today. Really positive change. Like I said, I knew that some kind of Kunark quality of life was coming. And this is what we got. It's obviously come from a designer who still wants to make things a little bit of a challenge. But realizes, you know, staring at a ground spawn for two, three, four hours, not really fun. Running around for Ona V for an ancient Jarsaf for a couple of hours again, not really fun. Um, so I'm glad they've made these changes. I think it will make it a better experience. And hopefully it will keep more people around raiding into Kunark, which is a bit of a lull expansion for raiding. You're know, having access to VP. Probably means guilds will be able to go in there sooner and uh, with a stronger raid force and make those raid nights yeah, a bit easier because there are some really annoying fights in uh, Vishen's Peak. So, more people you bring, the better. So, that's our video for today. You know, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about the Kunak key piece changes. Do you think these are positive change? Uh, would you like to see them gone further with it? Or, uh, I, how do you think they've gone too far? They've made it too easy now to get into VP. Or even easier to get into Sebelis. And do you agree with my thoughts about Howling Stones? Well, let me know down in the comments below. More videos coming soon. Like I said, I am working on the next leveling video. And lots more to come. So, other than that, I am the Brick Canuck. And I hope that you have a fantastic day.